June 16th, 2025, our bi-weekly cover crop check. We're just south of the Dodge County Fairgrounds on a healthy soil, healthy water grower participant. This is the first video we're shooting for the 2025 interseed crop year. Uh, fairgrounds, I'm gonna point to it. Uh, about a mile as the crow flies right over there. So we're just south of the Dodge County Fairgrounds. Uh, so this grower had planted his cover crop, he interseeded cover crop, it's not up yet. It was on, uh, uh, he planted some on Friday, he planted some on Saturday, and he planted some yesterday on Sunday. Uh, so two weeks from now, we're gonna have probably some cover crop up. Uh, when we plant this cover crop, we wanna be at the, between the V3, the V4, V5 growth stage, uh, corn at maybe 11, 12, or 13 inches tall. We want uh, uh, the corn to get up and get going and get growing and get a good jump on the, the cover crop, and the cover crop comes up in between here. So this field uh, last year prior was wheat and he had a, a full cover crop after the wheat was harvested and we have a whole bunch of buckwheat that's going on. So the only thing that we see up right now um, is the, the buckwheat that we're going to see. Uh, temperature wise uh, we're just sort of uh, we're up over 75 degrees uh, and I guess that's all I got to say for today. So next week I'll report on what was actually planted for a cover crop. I'm standing in the headlands right now. Uh, the grower didn't even get the body planted, the body of the field planted. That'll get planted sometime this week. So we'll shoot a video going down the headlands and it uh, doesn't look like there's much going on up above the ground, but there actually is, but there's a whole bunch going on below the ground.